Hello everybody, Morbtron here. Today is February 25th, 2020, which makes it a Tuesday and a reset day. And as you can see, Lord Saladin has left the tower, and that was the final Iron Banner for this season. So if you're interested in Iron Banner or want loot, you'll have to wait until next season to get it. The next season is only a few weeks away, so the first Iron Banner is probably about a month away, I would say, of season 10. Now, this week, a big thing is we don't really have any new content as the season is winding down. It's the last two weeks of Season 9. We should be coming close to the very end of the Fractaline donation for the uh, Empyrean Foundation. We are in the last little section of it. We've been there uh, for a few days now, and the end goal is 9.777 billion, which uh, we should complete today as long as you log in get your free Fractaline from the Tower Obelisk and donate away. I don't expect us not hitting that by the end of the day, or at least the end of the day tomorrow. But the Crucible Rotator, you see, Iron Banner is gone. We have Mayhem and Countdown back again this week. So if you enjoy throwing supers at each other, play Mayhem. If you enjoy playing a broken game mode that's super boring, play Countdown. Um, then we have Rumble, Control, Elimination, Survival, Freelance Survival, and Classic Mix, as per usual. No changes there. But in Gambit this week, nothing has actually changed or been updated, but we do have Double and Triple Infamy this week. So from today through Friday's reset, we will have Double Infamy, and then from Friday on until the end of the week, we will have Triple Infamy. So if you're looking to farm up a little bit more Infamy to maybe complete a ranking or something for uh, some sort of triumph for the end of the season, now is your time to do so. The Flashpoint this week is on the EDZ, and if we go into the Vanguard playlist, the Ordeal Nightfall this week is the Pyramidian, so of course we have the Genesis Algorithm, increasing void and environmental damage, that purple fire at the end of the boss fight, or the end of the strike, with the boss fight, is going to hurt quite a bit. We have Togetherness, so stick together if you want to regen your health at all. Match game as per usual, and Barrier and Overload champions like normal for Pyramidian as well. The Farmable Nightfalls this week. We have a Garden World, which I believe gives you an exotic Ghost Shell. Correct me if I'm wrong. The Exodus Crash, which does give you an exotic Sparrow. And the Corrupted, which gives you the Legendary Energy Pulse Rifle, the Horror's Least, which is a year two energy 540 rpm pulse rifle not the easiest thing to farm for because the corrupted does take a long time to complete but if you're looking to complete your collections there you go other stuff throughout the solar system let's go to the moon the nightmare hunts here we have skull loss down at the bottom omnigul over on the i would say middle right and then all the way in the left we have the fanatic so if you're looking to complete any time trials for any of those three there you go. Now that's basically it. There's no new content this week. It's just the season's winding down. It's the last two seasons of the week. Season, uh, last two weeks of the season, if I could speak correctly. Season 9 ends on March 9th, so we can only assume that Season 10 starts on March 10th. So we have two weeks until the next season starts, and uh, I'm curious to see exactly how PvP focused this new season is going to be um, because we could use it. We could use it. I could use it. I need some more PvP updates in my life. Well, let's go check out Tess Everest here and see what she has for us this week. Uh, now we have an Origami Crane emote, which is pretty neat. I've kind of taken a look at this stuff beforehand. Oh, I canceled the emote. You basically fold up a piece of paper a bunch of times, and then you throw a paper crane that is a lot bigger than you would think, uh, according to that little crumpled piece of paper in our hands. There you go, and you kind of just throw it, and then it grows and flies up for some reason. But hey, you know, it's an emote. We have the Violent Exorcism, which is a ornament for the Arbalist. Not my cup of tea. Kind of makes it look more um, of a Scorn weapon, I would say. Maybe like a Fallen or Scorn weapon. Definitely more Scorn vibe. Uh, we have the Motive Force, which is a sparrow that looks very Cabal-inspired to me. And uh, its trail is just fire, just, just orange fire. 
We have a simulation shell, which is pretty cool, actually. It puts your your ghost in a little ball of Vex milk. So that's pretty interesting. Um, but its perks are Speed Demon. So, not really a fan. Um, I don't think it's worth six bucks. But we have the uh, 14 projection. I think it's been around for a long time. But for Bright Dust this week, we have Guardian Buy, which is... There's a lot of there's a lot of sass in in that emote. One more time, let's play through it here. Yeah, that's that's uh, that's pretty it's pretty sassy. We have the prod, which is a ship that uh, it's a text mechanica ship. If you couldn't tell by the giant text mechanica emblem down there at the bottom, it has a lore tab. Um, I'll just leave it on screen right now. If you want to read it, you can pause the video. That sort of thing. We have the Vex Gate arrival. If you want to look like a Vex. There you go. We have the um, Byzantium Lotus. I think that's how you pronounce that. It's basically just purple on a Titan. So if you're a fan of purple, you'll probably like the Byzantium Lotus. And other bright dust stuff this week. We have Cowbell, which I need to farm up more bright dust for because I really, really want Cowbell. I need more Cowbell in my life. And uh, yeah, I need that emote. But I need... A little under 2,000, a little under 1,500 Bright Dust to get that emblem for me. Of course, we have the Prod. I already talked about that. We have the Perennial Velocity, which has been for sale for Bright Dust before. It is back again. It is an Amelon Sparrow. It kind of looks similar to a Fusion Rifle, because that's basically all Amelon is good for, is Fusion Rifles. Uh, we have the Amelon Shell again for sale. Looks very amelon -y. We have the... Ornament for the Lord of Wolves, the Packmaster's Command. Again, like I said last week, this thing looks like it's fur. Uh, is from like a video game from like 1992, but you know that's fine. The rest of it is okay. Uh, Lord of Wolves, not my cup of tea though, so I won't be buying that. And we have the uh, chest piece for the Season Nine armor set this week if you're looking to complete your set, and the Red Legion projection there. And other stuff, we have the Up in Smoke Transmat Effect, which gives a... It's quite, pretty loud. It's pretty loud. So if you want to... Um, I don't know, I guess, Transmat in with an explosion. There you go. And we have the Cabal Shield Breaker Effect, which is just another Cabal Transmat Effect. And we have two shaders here that have already been for sale, but if you don't have them, they are Atmospheric Glow, which is green with green and some more green on it. So if you're a fan of green... Atmospheric Glow is probably up your alley. Then we have the uh, Circadian Chill, which is blue, white, and black. If you're a fan of blue, white, and black, the Circadian Chill will probably be up your alley. And it matches my thorn ornament pretty well, I would say. Looks pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good. And then uh, that's, pretty much, that's pretty much it for this week. Like I said, the Season 9 is winding down. Log in go to the tower, get your free Fractaline, donate it, and let's complete the Empyrean Foundation donation cycle and see if we get anything from it before Season 10 starts. Pretty sure it's just going to give us some sort of thing in the Crucible playlist. Will it be Trials? Probably, but it has not been confirmed yet, so I will not hold my breath. Um, yeah, I'm just more excited for Crucible changes next season rather than you know, Trials coming back. Trials coming back might bring Crucible changes that I enjoy, but it's not about that. Well, let's see how much uh, Fractaline I get for, for acquiring this this week from all the investing that I've done. A fair amount. A fair amount. There we go. So I'm going to donate that, and it's going to take me a long time because reasons. Uh, but that's going to be it for this video. So if you liked it, leave a like on the video. I would greatly appreciate it. If you are new here, subscribe for more Destiny 2 content. The content this week on my channel will be kind of winding down along with the season wind down. There's not much left to cover. Um, I will be covering just a few changes uh, to shotguns and fusion rifles specifically from the sandbox uh, going into season 10. And of course, I'll talk about any armor and ability changes as they are leaked or talked about in the TWAB updates on Thursdays before the new season starts. 
So yeah, if you want to know more about that or you just want more Destiny 2 content, hit that subscribe button for me. I would greatly appreciate it. But do not forget to have a good day, everybody. And I will catch you all next time. Thank <laughs> you.